Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a two-in-one tutorial, my hair and makeup on this look here, which is super fresh and glowy, and most importantly, super, super fast. The hair and the makeup takes 15 minutes or less. I could do it in 10 minutes if I wasn't like showing you all the products and everything. This look is for those of you who want to wear a full face of makeup and look really put together, but you don't have too much time to do it. You don't have an hour in the morning, you know? So I'm starting off with a BB cream. This acts as a moisturizer, a primer, and a foundation all in one. It's got really good coverage and looks so beautiful on the skin and it saves a bunch of time, especially because you can apply it using your fingers. Next, I'm taking a concealer. This is a full coverage concealer and I'm actually mixing it with a illuminating concealer just to brighten up the area and make me look more wide awake. Once I have finished blending that in with my finger, I find this is like one of the fastest ways to do it. I'm going to take my powder and just buff a little bit of that all over my skin just to set the foundation in place. And this takes no time at all and it will just ensure that everything lasts really well throughout the day. This is totally optional but I'm just applying a little bit of a brightening powder into my eyes. And then I'm going to contour and bronze my skin using this colour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm just putting on my contour areas, on my temples and everything. Just to give my skin a little bit more colour and make myself look a little bit more healthy. And then what I'm doing is I'm actually using a blender brush and applying that same colour into my crease. And this is just a really good time saver. You don't have to mess around trying to find different products. You just use the same thing for different things. That makes sense. Next I'm taking this pink shimmer brick and again I'm going to use this for two different things. I'm taking the lightest colour all over my lid as an eyeshadow and this is going to make myself look super wide awake because it's such a light shimmery colour. I'm also putting it in my inner tear duct as well just to brighten up the eye area. And then I'm going to swirl all of the colours together and apply that on my cheekbones as a face highlight. I cannot leave my brows. I have to do something with my brows. And the fastest thing I find is a volumizing mascara kind of product for your brows. Tarte does a really good one as well, but this one's L'Oreal. I've just been loving it lately. It's got little fibers in it, so it kind of thickens up your brows as you go. And it just gives you the perfect amount of color and, you know, volume. It's so weird calling brows voluminous, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. I'm also using a brow highlight stick. Tons of brands make these, and it's just a really fast way to highlight your brow and clean up the area make your brows look a little bit sharper kind of hides all the little stray hairs um, and then I'm going to apply mascara on top and bottom and I like to spend an extra few seconds just making sure that my mascara is nice and thick of course this is optional but I'm just adding a little bit of blush to make my cheeks look a little bit more colorful and add some color to my face and then finishing off with a lip color I went for a bright kind of light peach pink does that even make sense? I have no idea. Um, anyway, that is all of the makeup done and that took me under 10 minutes. Next, moving on to my hair, I am using this amazing set. I love this so much, you guys already know. This is the Numi Lustrum set and I'm taking the medium sized wand. It's a 25 millimeter because I want loose kind of beachy curls today. And I'm just setting that up and clipping it on. I love these sets because obviously you can create tons of different looks with the one set. It's got all of those different um, wands you can attach. Now I am taking a hair tie and I'm tying my hair up in a ponytail. And this is the fastest way I've found to curl hair. I'm applying applying the glove, <laughs> putting on the glove and I'm sectioning my hair off into three or four bits and just curling each section in the ponytail. The best part about these wands as well is whenever I use it the curls last for days which means basically the next day you're not even going to have to bother styling your hair so it's going to save even more time. <laughs> So I'm just continuing, continuing, what? I'm just continuing around my head and sectioning off the ponytail and curling it up until it's all complete and it looks something like this. And then I'm taking out the ponytail and shaking out my hair and I'm going to brush out the curls a little bit just to make them a little bit more separated and fluffy looking. And then taking a little bit of oil and putting that through my hair. And if you find your hair is too smooth and you want more texture to get that true kind of surfer beach wave effect, use some salt spray. You can find them from like every brand. Everyone does salt sprays. I'm using a wee bit of dry shampoo on my roots just to add a little bit more volume and that is the completed look. 
If you're interested in trying one of the Numi sets for yourself to see how amazing they are, I freaking love them. They're such amazing quality. I have some codes for you guys. The first one is Bubbles, and this will give you 40% off the entire website, plus $12 shipping to Australia and New Zealand, or free United States shipping. The second code I have for you is Blossoms, and this will give you any styling set for $99, and $12 Australia and New Zealand shipping, or free US shipping. I'll write the codes and list links and everything down below if you're interested. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please thumbs up, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye! They dropped this on the kitchen floor, and the packaging snapped, but the powder didn't. Yay! <laughs> it's always that moment of truth. You're like, crap. Such a depressing moment. I'm just using this to set my foundation in place. Next I'm taking this eyeshadow quad and I'm going to be taking the lightest kind of 